Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. They operate remotely for you not to achieve your goal. To stop you from achieving your goal. That is what they do. They operate remotely. You don't know that they are operating from there. Adversaries. They can be human or demonic powers on assignment against your destiny. They are usually spirits but they use human beings. Usually, they are spirits, but they use human beings to front. You know what they use human beings? So that you will attack human beings and forget that they are human beings who are sponsored by spirits. And that is where we get weakened most of the time because we attack human beings. Thinking that it is human beings that are responsible. Not knowing that the human beings are just being fronted to divert attention. Then you quarrel, you fight, you quarrel, you fight, you report, you contact, you consult. While you are doing it, they are perfecting their strategies to finish you. Adversaries. So we live in a world of adversaries. They are there to do their jobs. My own assignment is to stop them. Can I hear somebody say stop them? Can I hear you say stop them? Let me give you a few examples before I close of people in the scriptures that had adversaries. Then if they had adversaries, then talk, think about yourself. Abraham had adversaries. Abraham had what? Adversaries, opposition. And guess who? It was a lot. It was one who didn't hear the voice, but he brought him in that gave him hassles. Don't tell me that Lot was not aware that his headsman, we are calling Abraham's headsman. Because Abraham got to know himself. He now sent for Saul and Lot and said, listen, we are not going to quarrel about this. Choose whichever way you want. A man that was not called into, a man that didn't know when God spoke to you, is opposing you. A man you brought to work for you is the one destroying the work. That's adversary. Close to him. They are related. Moses had adversaries. <laughs> Moses had what? Adversaries. The four set of adversaries that Moses had were his siblings. I know your siblings don't have any problem with you. It was Aaron and Miriam that questioned the anointing, questioned his calling. And these people never had a call before. Aaron doesn't know what calling is. 
It was Moses that made him a high priest. Miriam didn't know she, ha she had anointing as a prophetess because she was a slave in Egypt. Aaron was a slave. It was Moses that brought them into ministry. And they now received anointing and used the anointing to attack Moses. Can I tell you what? The moment you begin to make a difference among your siblings, you will be attacked, whether you like it or not. Because everybody wants everybody to be the same. Nobody should be above the other. Before you say, is it because Papa spent money to send you to school? That's why you're talking to us like that. Is it because you had first class? Or is it because Papa sent you to London? That's why you can come here and begin to talk to us. You will see. That you will see. You will see if you don't try. If you don't do anything, you will really see. My communicating. It was his brothers. The second adversary, we are the people that we are nowhere, that we are slaves. He brought them out of slavery and made them leaders. In, November, in, in Numbers chapter 16, he made them leaders. And they opposed him. Dotan and Abiram, they say, is it only Moses that God can speak through? Is it only Moses? Oh, God can speak through us also. You don't, you don't leave the, the church in the wilderness alone. Talk about voice of freedom. Abirans and Dotans, they are here. Yes, sir. Is he the only one that hears from the Lord? You better not hear what? Where were you when he called me in 1977? Where were you? Now you can say, am I the only one hearing from God? Moses said to them, there is no problem. I don't blame you. I, I, was, I was in the back of the desert doing my own thing, he called me. I didn't ask him to call me, he called me. Now that you are questioning the authority, we will see. Everybody, take your house. If he's the one that called me, God, show yourself. God said, Moses, stay clear. The ground opened. At Dotan and Abiara, 250 people with their families were swallowed. The ground opened, Swallow them, the ground close. In case there's any investigation, there is nothing you will see. <laughs> Set up inquiry, you will see nothing. You joke with God. I'm talking about adversaries. They are not far from us. They could be people we brought in. People we spent our hard earned money to train. They turn into adversaries. Oftentimes, we don't see them as adversaries, but they are. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week is your week of testimony. Unlimited testimony. Somebody shout and receive it. Stop here, my time is gone. Nehemiah chapter 4. Nehemiah chapter 4. 
adversaries. Chapter 4, verse 7. Now, let me read. Let me read from verse 1 so that you can understand where I'm coming from. Verse 1. But it came to pass that when Sambalat heard that we builded the wall, he was wrought and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. He was not a Jew. He was an infidel. He didn't know Nehemiah's connection with the king. He paraded himself as somebody. He mocked the work of the Lord. Be careful. Hmm. Verse 2. And he spoke before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, what do these people Jews? We they fortify themselves, we they sacrifice, we they make an end in a day, we they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned. Ladies and gentlemen, the rubbish, the heaps of the stone may be under rubbish and burned. My God can bring them out from where they are buried. That is what they didn't know. Because they had destroyed Jerusalem, everything is in heat. Everything was rubbish. So he was wondering what they are doing. The foolishness of God is greater and wiser than the wisdom of men. And look at what happened in verse 3. Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him, and he said, Even that which they view, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. Here, your strength against your adversary is your connection to your God. It's a whom you resist steadfast. Adversary is fighting consistently, constantly, and steadily. You resist it steadfast. Hear, O oh God. For we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head. If I hear somebody say amen. amen. And give them for a prey in the land of captivity. Can somebody holler amen? amen? You know, somebody will listen to you and say, why are you praying this kind of prayer? That's the prayer we pray. In the land of captivity. Hear, O oh God. Verse 5. And cover not their iniquity. Lift up your right hand and say, Lord, cover not the iniquity of my adversaries. In the name of Jesus. He said, let not their sin be blotted out from before thee. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the greatest prayer you can pray against adversary. Let not your sin. Those who are plotting my downfall. Those who have kept me in this situation. Those who have frustrated my effort. Oh Lord, their sins shall not be blotted out. Ladies and gentlemen, when their sins are not blotted out, they are doomed. There is no way of escape. Let their sin not be blotted out from before thee. For they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. Six, it says, so build we the wall. Can I hear somebody say, I am unstoppable. The adversaries we are there, they were building. People we are mocking, they were building. They were laughing at them, they were building. They said this thing they are doing, even if the fox climb up on top of it, it will fall, they were building. Can I hear somebody say, I am unstoppable. Friend, no matter who oppose you, no matter how many they oppose you, he that is with you is greater than he that is against you. Amen. Somebody holler loud, amen. amen. He said, so built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together until the half thereof. For the people had a mind to do what? If you can have, if you can make up your mind, 
you will win. If you can make up your mind. Don't always expect that things will be easy. If it's going to be anything great. You are going to make a blunder. If anything, you are looking for anything great and you're expecting it to be easy. But if you are looking for anything great and you build up your mind, it is going to be great and I know that there will be opposition. When the opposition rises, you know that nothing can stop you. Somebody say, I hear. Look at what it says. So built with the walk. Number seven. Look at the adversary. But it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashodites or the Ites heard that the wall of Jerusalem were laid up and that the bridges began to be stopped, then they were very what? Wrought. May your success anger your enemies. You know why? When he angered them, they will want to attack you more and they provoke God more. Did, they, did I say anything to anybody? Your success will anger them. Then they want to act. The more they act, the more they provoke God. If your enemy fold hand, they won't provoke God. If your enemy fold hand, you won't know how to pray. If you only fold your hand, you wouldn't know the value of fasting. You wouldn't even exercise your faith. They are there to provoke something. Somebody say, I hear. <laughs> and they were very rot. Look at verse 8, and we close. And conspired, all of them, together, to come. And to fight against Jerusalem. And to do what? To hinder it. Stand to your feet. To fight against Jerusalem. To fight against you. And to hinder you. That is the main target. When they can't stop you. When they cannot discourage you. When they cannot frustrate you, they will not come physically to see how they can hinder you. You are going to pray one prayer. Lord, expose my adversaries to danger. Open your mouth and clap your hands and pray the prayer. In the I need to hear somebody pray. On the screen there, one scripture I want you to go home with, Luke 21, 15. Luke 21, 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Ah. Are you in the house? Yes, 
Lift up your right hand and start. Stand on the word of God. Stand on the word of God. And I declare. And I declare. My mouth is anointed. My mouth is anointed. My tongue is anointed. My tongue is anointed. To destroy the strategies, the devices of the adversary. Of the adversary. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray this morning, as I pray this morning, oh Lord, oh Lord, judge my adversary, judge my adversary, and condemn them to destruction, and condemn them to destruction. Clap your hands